Hello, Bersley. Hello. <laughs> Whee. <laughs> Hello guys, OTRP Rides here. I'm with my dog now, Bersky. Later on, I'm going to meet up with Wilder. <laughs> I have something in store for you guys today. Come on, little fella. How you doing? Better meet my dog. <laughs> yeah, hyper. Yep, two hyper. Wow. So, yeah, yung install mo na LED? Ano yung i-install mo na LED? Oh, <laughs> ilang LED ba yun? Huh? Ilang LED ba yun kada ano? Uh, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. <laughs> Katagalog ka ba sir? Uh, a little. A little. A little. Wow! <laughs> yep. Q&A. This is our LED guy. So, LEDX. LEDX. Yeah. It's on Facebook. Click, uh, yes. Like Yep. One question I get a lot asked is how to apply the LED decals or the LED to the scooter. And what I tell everybody is make sure that the surface of the scooter is clean. Make sure the surface is clean. Yeah, and then what I do is I spray some alcohol on it just to get rid of the oil. And then I just wipe it down and let it dry. All right. So what you want to do is you could disconnect the LED from the kit, okay. from the, which is the... Uh, sticky side of the double-sided tape you just peel it off all right pretty much question is it waterproof or uh oh what uh, we, pulled, we pulled the whole sticky part off <laughs> a few moments later so take two take two take, take two. two is this waterproof yeah so this is water resistant the ip rating of 67 yes they could get wet but you do not want to submerge them that's pretty much all there is to it for a while after a few weeks or whatnot because the leds are 144 leds okay um, they're really dense they generate quite a bit of heat so if you're like hanging out with your friends in your park they're going to generate heat and since you're not riding they don't cool off fast enough so what happens is this, the tacky part of the tape becomes less tacky normal that's normal with any kind of tape in, in a heat environment so after a few weeks if you start seeing it coming off peel the whole thing off take the sticky side off and apply 3M tape. Like All right. Actual. Can you cut the LED strip if the deck is not long enough? And absolutely. Right. Cut between the lights. Try not to cut on top of the LED. So you cut right there, and that's it. All right. Okay. So that's how you're going to cut the LED strip. Correct. Uh, Bershki, any comments? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so perfect timing. It's kind of starting to rain. Here in our lovely uh, LED shop. Yep. LED, LED X shop. So. <laughs> You can find this guy here at Flare Towers and he can definitely speak Tagalog, right bro? Yeah. Talaga. <laughs> Talaga. Good. 20 minutes later. Kung power bank, what do you recommend? Mo ba? I get that asked a lot. Power banks, I don't suggest power banks. Power banks are okay, but I don't suggest them. Yep. Um, unless it's a power bank that has a 3 amperage output, which is a, like a turbocharger, I guess. Let's see what they're called. They're fast charge. Oh. Those are okay. but. The problem with power banks is usually they don't have a lot of high amperage. So what happens is the controller stops reacting and people think that the LED is not working, but it's because okay. not enough amperage. Okay. Another issue is a lot of them are only five volts. And because the LEDs require five volts and because you're pulling almost 0.2 to 0.3 voltage per strip, okay. as soon as you connect this, it's going to start bringing the power below the five volt thrust mark. Okay. So, so because of that, that the LEDs start acting up. And then people freak out, they're like, oh, the LEDs don't work. No, it's the power source is not good. Okay. Yeah. So the next step is to connect the Y adapter okay. to the rest of the system, right? Connectors okay. are kind of foolproof. They only go in one way. You won't be able to, so don't force it. So right. they only go in one way. The cool thing about my kit, and, and I know the boys, the other guys that are selling are, are the same. We, we all chit chat, so we all kind of share uh, experiences. Shout out to Alex. Kit, as you can see, it's all like dismantleable, right? So yeah. if this goes bad, it's easier to replace. If this goes bad, it's easier to replace. Oh, at the lights. <laughs> it's called Magic LED. Magic. And then you connect to the connector, and you're able to to change the colors with uh, with your phone. 
or, or you could change you could change modes if you want yeah um it has uh, 200 modes 200 modes 200 modes yeah you can change the speed control the uh the intensity the brightness another tip for people who use power banks like this one the, okay. so this is an okay power bank your power bank okay uh, lower the intensity okay. the brightness LEDX Facebook page or, or, or All right. Facebook be privately. They can yep. reach out to you too also as, as we've known. So yeah, that's, that's it. it. Whoa. Thanks for this setup. Uh, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And if anybody of your friends or any of the followers of your YouTube channel, um, go to Facebook, look us up, LEDX. Um, you yeah. can private message Sid, you can private message me through the page. Yeah. Um, if you're interested in the kit, as I said, shout out to the boys who sell the kit also. Um, a lot of guys are very tech friendly. Reach out to any of us, any of us will help you. And the, the thing is to stay bright so people can see us, right? And yeah. we want to stay safe and that's the whole point of this. Alright. Yeah. Thanks. A few moments later. I got them with the lights.